Welcome back everybody to a another... Actually, I got the headset on wrong. Right, let's do this right, shall we? Welcome back everybody to another episode of... Days Gone Survival Mode. Now, I parked here, innocently enough. Some guys over there started to shoot at me. And those very kind and considerate freakers ran out of nowhere and just killed them all. So I'll wait for them to move on and just mosey on in there. Maybe scavenge from the bodies. Because I have no intention. I have no intention nor do I have the means of fighting a horde. So hopefully they'll just wander off back to whatever hovel they were hiding in cave somewhere, probably. And I can just creep on in there. Aw, oh, yeah. Easy. Sometimes the game just plays itself and you just go along with the ride. Is there going to be a cutscene, or...? Alright, I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 it's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, the, the, those guys with the guns over there... You're all the the same question. team, O'Brien. Just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but it's why I need your help. My help? D look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know uh, my name. Hey. Well, you gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. I have Christ, a magic bike. How long bike. do I have to wait now? I have a very magic bike that just appears <laughs> randomly. Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right. I'm gonna put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. Oh All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Right to the Nero LZ. Hey, look at that. I took away the uh, gas tank thing. Brian, yeah, I'm here. What are you, uh. One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just, just go! Don't lose it. Jesus, okay, alright. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? Their destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to the LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have spy, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you one. Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Please don't lose them. Yeah, this is more like it. High octane chase. 
but I don't know they're being chased. Not really high octane Come either. Now, get too far ahead. Nice terrain though. I like that I can ramp down. off things. O'Brien, they're landing! Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot! Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guide, like me, guarded by a bunch of goons. I need you to get close to the researcher. Kevlar wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector. Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Place one of them on their helo. Almost all of these file missions include stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking for what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. It's just gotta be good. What the hell are you guys doing out here? We're not long missing. Shouldn't be too long. Doc knows what's up. How oh, didn't he see me? He should have. He looks right at me. In my direction, at least. The unobstructed direction. Uh, let me get over there. Somehow. Without being spotted. These guys are jumpy, aren't they? Uh, without being spotted by... Hingus and Dingus. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Wait for him to walk over there and I'll jump. Or try and, like, move that way. Yeah, I don't know. I'll wing it. My strategy for most games. Checking the traps at site 14 Alpha. I've confirmed a large male subject with a confirmed albinism mutation. The subject has expected lack of skin pigmentation and reddish eyes. The muscle mass appears to be 40% greater than normal infected subjects. What was it you called them? Bleachers. Well, they're real. Well, this is only the third subject we've been able to study. As noted, their strength and ability to absorb damage make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted in other field reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Whatever is causing the mutation, it's spread rapidly. Okay. Well, that was it. That wasn't so bad. That was a pretty easy one. Hey. I remember with some of them. Oh shit. I remember with some of them you have to like follow them around. Which is a bit of a bitch, but that one was pretty good. Now, uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do. Throw a rock, I think. Wait for him to go over there. Then I'll get him throw a rock. Still alive. They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a. What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? Yeah, Jesus, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. O'Brien? O'Brien! God damn it, he did it again. O'Brien, talk to me. Yeah. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. That went really well. That took me a long time when I tried it the first time around. Vagrant camp. Bastards have been ambushing all the supply runs around here, haven't you? What and when? Who? Oh, these guys. I'll go for these guys. This Why not? The truth shall set you free. It's with a heavy heart. And I report six deaths and two injuries. I had a clear case week. Bunch of murderers.
murderers and thieves, and I can't let anyone shit. How do you like that, huh? Choppers. Okay, time for the rest of you. tell you, everything I've been warning you about is absolutely coming true. Heard those choppers touch down. Oh. Knocked out an entire group of men. Almost out. Who were screaming and begging for mercy. Citizens of this country. And they cut them down. My men returned fire, but... Shit. This won't be the last we hear of them either. They're hunting us down. Those of us who dare to survive and mess with their plans. That was close. Okay. Us off. So they can finally emerge from their coveralls. Stay vigilant, people. And keep your eyes on the sky. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Okay, I got twelve rounds. I haven't really got the ammo to the old gun hole. Oh, I'm missing. There we go. How can I fire those many rounds and miss at that range? Oh, it's seven. I've just over halfway. A little bit over halfway. Did I get anyone? No. Survive. Um, so I'm dumb to Molotovs. I got no, I got sniper rifle rounds. Didn't realize that. Where are these guys? There's only a few left. Roughly three left. Oh, I hit this helmet off. Missed this head. Oh, I hit this head. But unfortunately, his helmet did his job. Did its job. Okay, Molotov out. Nope, didn't hit anyone. More ammo. Eleven, two, two left. 
Oh fuck. Just you and me, buddy. I'm gonna call you Bob. It's just you and me, Babo. I'm assuming you're behind him because why wouldn't you know? Don't quite understand the strategy these guys employ. Oh shit! Oh, I think that's it. Roads will be a little safer now. I mean not much, but a little. Ah oh, yeah. I'm a badass. I wonder if they had a bunker around here. I'll bet they do. Why do you assume everyone's got a bunker? Everyone. Like, I've been through this before at the beginning of the game. Like, he assumes you just take out a camp and be like, Mmm, there's a bunker around here. I can smell it. Mmm, <laughs> corrugated sheet metal. You don't see that in The Walking Dead. I know I bring up The Walking Dead a lot, but... That's the main point of reference for a zombie apocalypse, isn't it? Really? 28 Days Later is... This is actually more akin to 28 Days Later, I'd say. But in America. Because you don't... 28 Days Later is set in London, primarily. Not even the UK in general, just mainly London. This is Radio Free Oregon. The ch and some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But last I checked... This is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property sh Not to cut you off there, Cope, but... Infringed. What am I looking for again? have the right to claim territory, to hold it, and to defend it. Sure, we took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history. But we took it by force. And force is the only thing that will move us now. We're not gonna roll over for a bunch of bullies. If the feds, or rippers, or marauders think they're gonna come rolling into my wilderness, they got another thing coming. The strongest survive. The strongest take, and the strongest will succeed. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. That's something Cope, law and order are a thing of the past. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, you got a point about force being the only thing that matters now. Force and a lot of goddamn ammo. I agree with most of that. Force and ammo. Oh my god, they got a map! Ooh! Ambush camp hunter. I got a stamina cocktail. Cool. Searching for Lisa! Yeah, I can do that now. Actually, no, I'll sleep. Some daylight? Because I'm sure it's night time up there. Uh, daylight. It'll make it a bit better. It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. If you hear any, like, voices in the background, it's probably my family shouting. I can't really hear them because I've got my headset on recording this. But yeah, they don't really have indoor voices. And I've kind of accepted that now when I'm recording. Where am I going? God, it's warm. Like, here, not in the game. I'm not role-playing. Like, for once, the weather portrayed in the game is kind of the weather I've got here, for me. Which doesn't happen all that often, where I live. Usually it's just rain. 
no petrol. Kind of gutted about that. No, I'm okay for petrol. I thought it said 27% and I checked it earlier, but whatever. That may have said 57%. And I might just be losing my eyesight. Which is happening slowly anyway, I think. So let's go find Lisa, because in the last episode, or the episode before, we discovered that she's gone missing. She went out on a job. Which is kind of weird, because the guys in the earlier part of the episode, before that woman tells us, before Rookie tells us, she's gone. The guys are complaining that she's, Lisa's keeping her, keeping them up at night. So I don't know what's happening there exactly. That's a bit like out of weird timeline. Weird timeline. Let's just put it down to that. Anywho, I've gone off on a tangent. Oh shit. Okay, this has gotta be it. Lisa. Like a glove. Oh, yeah. She's gotta be out here somewhere. I can fix this. That should do it. No, she's not here. Where are you, Lisa? But a drunk lives here, it seems. Five oh, beer bottles. Oh, Jesus. Well, better have a look around. I can clear out a few of these. Because I'll get. Okay, that gives you. As I just saw, like clearing out the ambush stuff, that gives you credits and trust. I smell it. <sighs> with the local be camp. Close. So that'll help. Get me some upgraded gas tanks, etc. Oh, God. Uh oh. Yeah, oh. No, 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 no. Damn. Bounty. Okay, that's one down. Five to go, I assume. I think. Yes. Uh, not even in the search zone. Where's the search it, zone? Around here somewhere. Yeah, in the search zone, which I'm not even in. It's over there somewhere. Guess I'll come back later, burn out these nests.
No red, and from what I can tell, my family just went out for a bit. So it's gonna be quiet in the house. Is this uh, Lisa's handwriting? I want to forget. Mission complete. I didn't really find her. That sounds like something she would write. Didn't really do anything for that mission. Drive to location. Now you see it. That's not good. Where are you going? How did I get in here? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, fuck these guys, I'm just gonna sneak away. Bye bye, chumps. <laughs> right into a tree. Oh, what the hell? What are the chances? Like all that wide open area. Could have gone a little bit to the left. Just a little bit more to the right. Nope. Hit the tree dead on. Wow, he just materialized out of nowhere. They have cloaking technology in this game. Cloaking technology. That would make getting around a lot easier. Two thousand six hundred and ninety five credits, yet zero trust level. So I got a lot of money, just can't buy anything. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, booze man? Are you, are you tired of laying around yet, boozer? Hey, uh, you can't be in come here, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, not good. Damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. <laughs> They're never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. Look, all we can do is wait. Okay. All right. Deacon. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop. What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yeah. in your eyes. But you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look, <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please, just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. So, you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Alright, let's walk You're with Schizo. 
Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. He said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland, only it never shows up. The plane was doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. You getting it? Medicine, doctor shit, cargo hold full of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Just like that. Where? Hey, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. You're a grown man and you don't know what antibiotics are? So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak alikes. Oh, shit. So you go over there and you get caught. You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes... Psh okay. yeah, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just try to stay alive. Like everybody else. Hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. If he didn't creep me out so much, I'd say that was very nice of him. Hey, level one, friendly. All right, let me get out of here and buy some shit. Schizo, we can always count on you. Shit, what? Anything's better than standing around this shithole. Good to see you. Hey, Blair. How's life? Damn it. I don't get anything good until level two. I couldn't get a pre pretty decent sniper rifle, though. Which would eat up most of my money. Eat. Nah. Uh, yep. What about hey. bikes? Yeah. Hey, man. Let me cash in these. I saw Boozer the other day. Your friend, right? Man, that's pretty messed up what happened to him. Yeah, yeah, it is. I heard it was rippers. Is that true? That did it to him, right? Maybe. Yeah, it was rippers. Look, can we just... Can we not talk about it? Yep, gotcha. Yep, gotcha. Yep. Here for your bike? Hey, how's life? Uh -huh. Hey, cool. Uh, what about gas tank? Gas tank? Gas tank? Where's my gas tank? Level two. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you. Everything's level two, isn't it? Look at that. Even the fork is level two. Um, thousand. So I could get like that. Yeah, good part I'll get that. that. And I could get the exhaust. Yeah, that'll last you. Sure. And now I got right. five. Cr Need some gas, Deke? Oh, he didn't like even refill. <laughs> Come back if you remember what you want. Where's my? 
Twenty-four percent. I didn't even. Why? Why did I think that was a good idea? Okay, where am I going? I'm going somewhere. Do I go back there to Copeland's camp? See you around. Hold on a sec. I'll open. It. Hey, St. John, you there? Yeah. Schizo, I'm here. Now that business? Check on the rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, Schizo, I've got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, Spurs. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. Say St. John out. Petrol station. Hopefully there's some petrol. Hey St. John, where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo. But not your goddamn brother. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you, bro. That business we discussed? Let's just say uh, you should head out that way now. Well, oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it? Ride in the open road? Now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John out. Uh, I could do that, but I really need to get petrol first. And who knows, I might just do some of the other missions. Work my way up to it. Make sure I'm well prepared. If I'm going into Ripper Country, there's no petrol here. No petrol whatsoever, which is the main thing I need. So, even though it says, even though there's like a petrol icon when I, when I went up to this thing, so I don't know if I back up a bit. Wait, what was that? If I go back, 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 back. Hey, look at that. Oh wait, that's not right. Something went wrong. Uh, hey, look at that. Okay, cool. Oh my god, that's just like a miracle right there. Now... The entire the entirety of the time I played it the first time around, I had no idea that was a thing. I always drove past the petrol pump. Because I just assume it's been two years. Why would there be petrol in there? Ah, shit, that's right, I gotta finish burning out these nests. But no, I'll go back to Copeland's camp, then to Tucker's. Yeah, see what they want, then come back and carry on going into Ripper Country. It's Ripper Country! I can pretty much just rev the engine now as much as I like. It's only 400 meters until Copeland's camp. It's not that long of a drive. But I got a better... Ooh, shit. It would be that long of a drive if I had the standard gas tank still. Camp jobs. Um, 
encampment leaders often contract work uh, work out out uh, contract out work they need done completing these missions and jobs reward you with encampment trust and credits listen for radio calls to find out when a new mission or job is available peak good got something you might be interested in yeah i don't bet on the cope i'm busy too busy to hear about a ripper camp here in the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here? <sighs> Where? Thought you might be interested. I heard how you and Boozer got hit by it. In fact, I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? Where, Cart? Up by Separation Meadow. Flack, you know her, don't you? Saw him firsthand. Past their camp when she was out on a supply run. Don't worry. <sighs> I'll take care of him. So, Ripper Camp. Where is it at? Oh, it's not too far. So, let's go up there. Walk very slowly away. Oh, wait. Look at that, 16. 31 credits. I'm rolling in dough. In game days. Of course, not real days. Let me get the gate for you. So, yeah, I may just, in the next video, go around this beginning area a bit more and just wipe out a few camps and so on. And, uh, whilst I remember. Boozer. Yeah, Dave. I'm just feeling a little out of it, you know. Look, I'm on my way up to Separation Meadow. Cope says there's a ripper camp up there. Rippers? This far north? Yeah, Boozer, what the hell's going on with these guys? Alki said the Rippers were looking for us, that we had a price on our head. What the hell? How's that possible? I mean, sure, I've, I've killed my share of crazy bastards, but I never went out of my way. Uh, not that I remember. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, rippers. Deacon out. I thought, I thought the camp was a lot closer than it actually was. Enemy camps. Yeah, I know roughly how this works. Yeah, just shoot them, right? Get low! Oh, come on. No. I can't get a beat in this guy. Hey. And that was just for pissing me off. Why you Where you found me. Set them free! Oh. No. 
Oh, defeat reinforcements. Son of a bitch. Here's your fucking path. Is there a different gun? I'll come back. I, I want my AK. I'm gonna hurt you. I think some freakers have wandered into camp. These kind of strike me as the whisperers from The Walking Dead. A bit. But yeah, I was saying uh, earlier. Um, yeah, my brother was meant to join me on this one, doing commentary, but something popped up, so he couldn't make it. Oh, what am I doing? Is that Freaker? I can't tell. Nope. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. Come on, come on, get off, get off. I win for a change. up here won't bother anyone ever again. Oh, St. John, that's good news. I talked to Manny the other day, some of the others. I know you've been doing things for the king. I just wanted to say thank you. Mark Copeland out. Yeah, welcome, Cop. Now it's time to go and see the pain in the ass, Tucker. Just need to find my bike. Need ammo. Mm, I don't want to go that way. If I can help it. But whatever. Off of my phone, so I've hit the uh, the 50 minute mark. So I'll call this video to an end. In the interim, I'll probably make my way to Tucker's camp 
and start the next video from there. Ding, you there? You Hello. Camp. Yeah, boozer. I found it. I think, I think they were up here looking for us. I don't know, booze man. I was too busy stopping them from cutting my eyes out to ask. Sorry, brother. I wish I'd been there. Hey, come on. All right. Shit, perfect timing. What is going on? Right, I'm going to pause this. Otherwise, I'm not going to end this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please remember, as I always say, to like, comment, and subscribe. Like to let me know that you're enjoying the walkthrough. Uh, comment anything you like. I don't mind. I'll reply to it as well. I gotta make a, definitely make an effort to reply to more or less all my comments on my videos. So yours will be no different. And we'll comment about anything, any tips you want to give me about commentary, anything you want me to talk about in later videos. I have got somewhat of a backlog, so about the last 10 episodes roughly. Uh, well, how many ever episodes I've done so far, I haven't uploaded yet. But I'll be sure to talk about anything you want to in the future. And please remember to subscribe, because it shows me that you're, you'd like to take an interest, and I, you want me to make more stuff. And it'll also keep you updated, I believe, on future updates, like future releases of content and so on. Thank you all for watching, and please have a nice day.